Welcome back. A lot of things to talk about after I I said I was going to test out doing the bare minimum amount of prep and see how it goes, see if that helps me stretch my imagination a little more, um, trying to become more quick and agile with how I respond to players and, and thinking on my feet and being able to respond um, in believable ways within the world. And well, let's just say that uh, we can learn from when things go poorly, perhaps even better than when things go well. It was kind of a mess. Uh, I started off, uh, I thought, well, here, last time we did pre-gens and that went so well. But in my last video, I said, no, I think it'd be better if players actually create their character and we'll do that together at the beginning of the session. And I had very ambitious timelines envisioned for how quickly that would take. It, it took way longer than I anticipated. And it was a bit of a, it was a bit of a mess actually. And, and that's not really my player's fault. I think it was partly my fault for putting that expectation out there and, and it just didn't, it just didn't work very well. But you know what? Some of the, sometimes uh, it's easier to identify areas for improvement when when things go poorly. And so it, it was uh, there. It wasn't all bad, but there were some. Definitely, we had a one of the things that was really good about our last week's session is that we had a chance to talk about it together about some some key things that we need to decide as a, a game group how we're going to handle and some surprising developments for me because. I went into this thinking, oh well, if if they if they role played so well with these pregen characters that I gave them two weeks ago, then certainly when they have a chance to make their own characters, they're going to really just launch into this. It's going to be excellent uh, in character all the time, just really really strong because they will have created these characters. But the opposite happened, and and I think maybe maybe when we pra as we practice this being better role players perhaps it's it's better to just stick with the pregens and then put all of that creative uh, endeavor into the personality of the pregen so you, you still have that character it's so important to have that player uh, involvement that player adjustment to the character to make it something that they can really sink their teeth into but maybe just focusing in on the personality wise uh, rather than just the filling out the the mechanical construction of the of the character, that would be better. I think it, it was interesting to me because we had this long discussion afterwards. Well, let's talk about what didn't go so well, what what was okay, and what you liked, and what we had a lot to talk about what didn't go so well. And so, I, you know, what I did go into it a little in my defense. I did go <laughs> I did go into it saying I'm going to see. I, I want to see how how little I can do. And, and obviously I hit my limit. I needed to be a little more prepped than what I was. I think it was just a little too, too much at this point in time. Maybe in a few years, it'll be, it'll be fine. I'll, uh, at that point, I'll be that no prep DM or GM. But at this point, I'm just not quite ready for that. I need a little more, a little more. So we had this conversation to my surprise uh, the players all said, oh, we really liked the pre-gens. We liked coming in, getting something that we didn't make. And that that could also be a bit of a statement that for those of us that have been at the hobby for a long time, it, there is perhaps a danger uh, of, and this may just, maybe it's just me, but I have noticed that I'll I'll have a tendency to make the same character. Now, there'll be slight differences here and there, but... In general, I'll gravitate towards one trope over another, and I think the my players are very much the same way. They'll they'll tend to play the same sort of thing, and having a pregen that has been um, made with the help of some randomizing elements is good because it it presents characters that you wouldn't have chosen for yourself. You wouldn't have you wouldn't have made that character. And so being asked to play that character is a good stretch. It's, uh, and so that, that's the outcome. The players all said, look, let's do pregens. We want to we wanted go back to that. Let's, let's do more of that. Uh, great. We had a, a really good conversation about how to handle fast travel. 
Fast travel is, is tricky because as I told my players, I really, I, I want to avoid as much as possible moving your character. You move your character, not me. You have, uh, if I start, if I'm guilty of just moving you around, then it's going to develop or potentially could develop this lazy habit of just I'll wait until Crispy tells me where I'm at and, and then I know, well, I'm supposed to be doing something here because he moved me here. I don't want to be that. The same token, I don't want to have a bunch of dead space in the game. Dead space, like, it's going to take 12 hours for the ship to go from this port to this port. So well, I'm not going to role play 12 hours, obviously. I'd much rather just get to the next scene of conflict. But how do we decide when we're going to do this? And how is that going to be handled such that I'm not brushing over, well, you know, in that 12 hours, I really wanted to be doing this. And, and I didn't even get a chance to say that. We just all of a sudden are here. Wait, I was expecting 12 hours to work on the. So we talked a little bit about how we're going to handle that. And... And I think it was productive. I, th I think that we've got, well, I'll report back once we actually try it next week to see how it works. Uh, but we've, we've put in, I, I think we have a pretty good handle now on how, how we'll handle this, like this fast travel element, because we don't, we're not interested in, in having scenes drag on forever that are just dull. Oh, it, it must, it, it really needs to have a more lively pace. Um, and so this session, as I mentioned, the session I was, I'm referring to, uh, ended in another, you know, party wipe. And it was kind of an unusual party wipe because it was, it was kind of handled. I just kind of hand waved it. And I know that might seem a little, a little capricious on my part, maybe even a little heavy handed, but the circumstances were such that the players were in in completely untenable situation, and one of them provoked the uh, opponents in a very violent way, while their guns drawn on everyone else. And I just kind of said, "Okay, well, that's that's the end. It, it all closes down in a hail of gunfire, fire." And we were at our our end time anyway, and and I had been kind of disappointed with how I had done and. Uh, I wasn't trying to take it out on the players, and I did explain. We talked about it afterwards. I said, "Well, I tried to give you a description of that. This is not a a good situation for you to like. They have the drop on you. This is this is really a a time to try to negotiate. And I'm not going to tell you that in advance. I'm just going to to give you the scope of what's going on around you, and then you can decide. And in the defense, in defense of the of the player who provoked kind of a violent end for everyone. He did have as his, his character, he had some, some hindrances, some character flaws that would have made it believable that even though he's facing certain death, if he does this, he may do it anyway. Um, and so we talked about that and, and we had a, a good conversation. No one had any hard, hard feelings, thankfully. And uh, we came away with, from that saying, okay, well, what can, how can we improve? What are we going to do? And, and, and that's, uh, that's helpful. So it's good to learn from when things don't go so hot. And that's maybe the best time to learn. So that's my update from that. I'm not a no prep GM and I, I know quite clearly where my limits are now. Uh, I think I need to have a little more, um, a little, just a little more, not a huge amount, not excessive amounts. I'm still very much interested in being able to improv, um, use improvisation uh, when players do something unexpected. And I want them to do something unexpected because I'd rather not have the solutions in mind, uh, just, the, just the conflicts, just focusing in, on the conflict, but not how they'll resolve it. And then, you know, going with what they, with what they say. But, and I'm going to be using pre-gens um, for a while, I think. Because that's, my players have told me, that's what they want. They want to have that, here, here's something, you're not, you don't know what it is in advance, you're going to get this, and you're going to do what you can with it. So, didn't, didn't anticipate that, but we'll see how it goes. So, I had an online game tonight with uh, 
with some players that we haven't seen in a while. It was great to see them. I was stretching a little bit with this. Uh, I've seen some some recent horror games, and I thought oh, I'm going to give my I'm going to I'm going to try my hand at a horror genre game. Ah, uh, I it's not it's not a forte of mine, and so I struggled a little bit with it, trying to get the right strike the right tone uh, for it to actually be called horror. Not sure that it is. I did record it. I'm not. I'm feeling a little self conscious about posting it because uh, I'm I'm not sure that it that it holds up very well. And it is um, for those of you that have posted videos. You know, it's it's really nerve wracking to put an actual play up uh, because it's so it's it just pulls the curtain back. Uh, and you get to see all of you know warts and all, all of the the shortcomings, and it's it's tough. It's tough to watch. It's I don't know. I don't think it was awful. I just don't think it was uh, up to the standard that I I hold out for myself. But it's good to for me to record it so I can review it on my own and and see. But you now let me know if you wanna if you want me to if everyone wants me to post it, then maybe I could be convinced to post it. But uh, I don't know. It's, it's horror, and I'm not very good at horror, uh, at least not yet. So thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe. Uh, glad to have you along. I've met some really interesting people lately and and had um, the opportunity to watch some great role play sessions. Um, a few of them that just blew me away, just amazing. The players and, and GM alike. Uh, and I, I think that's really good. There's some really good role players out there there's some excellent games out there which is very encouraging for uh, for the rest of us that are trying to get better thanks for watching my video i'll catch you on the next one bye